Hey guys, Michael here. There's a lot of HD content on YouTube, and for me, I've been producing HD content and uploading in HD, so you can, you know, press the little watch in HD button for a while now. Now, let's say you have a website or you're a writer for a community website. You want to take either your HD videos or someone else's, and if they're available in HD, you want to embed them in HD to get that quality boost, particularly because if you watch an HD video not with the watch an HD button, the quality is really d degraded, probably. I'm not sure if it's just because I've seen what the source material and then what the HD YouTube version looks like, and then it just looks kind of garbagey to me. Or maybe it's just because what I'm, I'm thinking is probably because that there's X pixels, and in standard definition and standard quality, even if you watch in high quality, the, the pixels are it's condensed down. So it's it, it's probably something in, in, of a conversion issue when you're watching. But in any event, I'm getting a little bit of off topic here. If it's in HD, you want to embed it in HD. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. If you want to watch videos in HD, tech content, go to youtube.com slash the one and subscribe. You probably are. That's probably why you're watching this. But if you haven't, go ahead and do that. So here's a video that I, uh, or a little post I wrote on john4lakers.com. Let's just watch it real quick. Hey guys, Michael here. Today I'm with the rich. And that is in HD. Okay. You can see here it has a little HD button. It's it's in HD. But let's say you wanted to write a post that had it in HD. So first what you want to do is you want to find your source material. So it's the same thing. It's still this um, embed code here. So you want to copy that. So we have it copied. So I'm here on michaelsherlock.com, and if I want to just embed this, we're just we're not going to actually publish this post, but I'm just going to paste that in there. Now there's a few things you want to change. First, you want to change the width and the height. This depends on you, but I like 625 by 375. Now obviously that's still condensing it. Um, because it's not 1080 or what is it? 19. It's uh, not 1080 by 720 or 720p. But um, 720p is not going to fit in here. So I just like this as the standard. So if people want to watch it, they can just you know press the little button to put it in full screen. Now that you've uh, changed the width and length, you still need to do the, the most important part here. You need to add this little piece of code here to the end of your videos. So after the fs equals one, you need to add this piece of code and you need to add it both after both links. I'll read it off to you, but it will be in the show notes. It's ampersand AP equals percentage 2526 FMT percentage 3D22. That'll be in the show notes, so you can just copy that code. So now there's just two things I just wanna make you guys aware of. If you're writing on a WordPress blog, a lot of blogs are in WordPress, you need to make sure you go into your visual editor and disable the visual editor when writing because otherwise it's not going to work. What's go what it's going to do is it's not going to register that that's HTML code and it's just going to get all screwed up. So you want to make sure that you're disabling the visual editor. Now, that's the same thing as if you were posting an entry on a Squarespace blog such as john4lakers.com or other Squarespace blogs. Right over here in the corner, it's defaulted to this one, but what you need to do is you need to change it to raw HTML. And it'll tell you that you need to save your document. In this case, there's nothing here, so it doesn't matter. But you need to make sure that you're not, you're using raw HTML, you're not using any visual editors when you're doing this. So now let's just save this as a draft. Come on, save. And then in a new tab, I'm just going to open this up. And okay, the width is a little bit too big because usually when I'm embedding a video, it's actually in a different um, blog type. That's a little bit of my mistake. So I'm just gonna change that back. Reload the page. So again, it's just easy to switch depending on what what the width of a blog of the blog is that you're working with. Uh, that'll also determine the 
blue, the black bars on the top and bottom. But this is embedded in HD, as you can see, and you'll see from the quality in a second. In this video, I'm going to be comparing two feature phones for the AT&T network. Predominantly, these are messaging phones. We'll move this to full screen also. So first, you have your Pantech Duo C810 and your at and And you can see it there in high-definition glory. So again, guys, that's all you have to do to embed videos, YouTube videos, in HD. It's a big request that I've seen that people have asked me and that people have attempted to answer, but I think this is just the best way. Again, the code is ampersand AP equals percentage 2526 FMT percentage 3D 22. I like to use 625 by 375, but as you saw on michaelsherlock.com, the actual width of where you're putting in your content determines, you know, how big you want that, but it'll also, the smaller you make it, the more of a black bar you'll see in the top. Um, so just keep that in mind. Anyway, so that's how you embed videos in HD onto a web page. For exclusive content, check out my blog at michaelshark.com and please follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash blue42richman. That's twitter.com slash B-L-U-E numbers 42 R-I-C-H-M-A-N. And um, subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment because that's always nice. Rate and favorite. Take care, guys.